Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2. This is Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our legendary Iron Man campaign. Time for Operation Moon Hole, where we are once again trying to get material. The last time we were ultra successful and I don't, I don't think that we can replicate 11 crates. That was just extra extra. We got Ranger, Templar, Specialist, Technician, very nice team actually, the Grey, um, the Grey Knights, uh, second part of the Grey Knights, so let's jump into it. Alright, so we landed, our evac zone is very far away for 12 rounds, and we're not even concealed. Well. Well, well, well. Good. Hogbite begins to move up. And I will actually double move just to see if we're spotting something out. The answer is no. That in return makes uh, me move with everyone else. Oh then we had a hack opportunity there. Lucky, they were running right into our trap. Bring it on. Renvin, good job. Ah, the other is screwed it up a little bit. Okay, so what's the deal here? Distraction is fantastic. That is, re I think, regaining all of uh, the actions. Mm -hmm. But 10% not good. The dodge, yeah, fine. Uh, it's okay. Okay, that might trigger. Well, make that might a certainty that will trigger. Moves up. Hmm, he is theoretically close enough to go down. That's a nice little flank. Hmm. We're taking the safe route here. That's one. We're locked in. And that's two. We're taking fortify because we're likely going to take some damage. Hmm. Not really feeling that. Uh, we do have a great explosive crate there. Hawkbite is the only one in range at the moment, so might as well aid protocol. And Stun Lancer could barely reach us, so we don't want that. Instead, Hogbite just moves a tiny bit back, and we're, we should be good. Oh, 
Okay, he's down to half cover. Not great. Sun Lancer is notoriously bad aim, so that luckily did nothing. This will not trigger Overwatch, I'm trusting you here. but it allows us to get rid of two of them. Ah, not. <laughs> Fully red. Stun strike for the advent. Stun lancer. Hilarious. The guy is stunned, although he's called stun lancer. <laughs> Okay, action efficiency. We're taking that. Thank you. Hmm. Well, not good. Free reload. Moves into half cover, 50-50, okay, and we're moving up. Full cover for Hogbite, and there's one more pack. So far we have nicely clawed our way through all of the enemies. That should injure him. Injures him very well. And that's a kill plus more focus and a promotion. You're the best. You are the best, Hogbite. Good, we will have automatic overwatch thanks to Ever Vigilant. Starting to really like Ever Vigilant. Beat, beat. End of turn. Good, we need to go through the building and then out. Affirmative. Got some nice eleva vigilant uh, charging in. And we're using half cover. It's not great, but better than nothing. Okay, I wonder where the last pack is at. We've got one, two, three, one, two, three. Four. That's all we got. Okay. No, we don't. No, 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 no. We're not burning. That's not happening. Is this triggering? It is not. Yeah, let's be a bit more careful. One, two, we get the one upstairs. They, might, they could be everywhere, including upstairs. Get some. My senses are keen. Reloading. 
No sound indication. Right, hop by takes the upstairs. Of course. I just mentioned it, they could even be upstairs. Free opening of the chest. Amplify for free. And let's kill this guy. Regaining our focus. Okay, I'll go. All right, shot you to the face. By the way, poor position to get you to there, dear Viper. There's another door. We know the room is empty. But I don't know if there is another pack. The answer is no, that's perfect because that means we're going to get out of here with four big fed resource caches and no damage whatsoever. The Templar is super fun. I get it that they took away the parry because that, frankly speaking, was a bit overpowered. But they added a lot of uh, a lot more functionality, specifically the free actions and the decoupling of uh, Templar's power from from focus that they're currently running. That was very important. Because in classical XCOM, you never really wanted to spend any of the focus, which I think was a design oversight. Uh, just they they got so strong um, with parry, deflect, and just damage upgrade, flat out damage upgrade. That essentially, unless you could prevent it, you would never want to uh, to spend focus. And when you were spending focus. It, it was better be worth it so anything short of summoning a ghost or an iconic storm really was kind of out of the question here it is more fluent uh, like the description says ebbs and flows you could uh, go you could really go with um, amplifying an enemy then stun striking another one and then running to a third one and killing them and you gain um, a focus back in return. So there are a lot of focus spenders and I've also seen that they can uh, basically summon pillars as free actions. So that is just absolutely great. Basically helps out with cover uh, creation. Speaking about which, we're exactly at that point where we can either get pillar as a free action if i'm not mistaken yep for the turns of cooldown or um, overcharge which isn't bad either 10 percent crit chance mm, yeah it's okay sustain of course so he is part of the gray knights sustain is just great sustain and fortress together uh, make you uh, make you almost unkillable so we're definitely going for sustain but I equally like pillar is another way to spend focus um, and we will be able to take sustain soon ish hopefully
Good. Jarangs on the other hand. That's good. Fortify has saved us. Shredder is great, but I saw that in Long of the Chosen they now have Shredder ammunition, so I wonder how necessary that is. Um, Burnout was another one. The only flamer skill that I found, maybe with uh, with Incinerator together. When fired, your flamethrower leaves a small smoke cloud around your position. So that is 20% defensive bonus. Um, that would stack together with Fortify, so we would have 40 defense. That's a hefty, hefty bonus. Hmm. Nah, don't think that that is really good. I, I'm not sure. I don't. I don't really like that. Stun chance or disorientation requires one action and ends the soldier's turn. Yeah. Problem is, elite codices um, as well as priests are immune. On the other hand, allies cannot be injured. Sounds good as well. I want to try Burnout and we'll take Shredder on top of uh, that because we don't need to decide. You're part of the Grey Knights. Uh, that's the good part. Hundred thirty supplies. Okay. We're getting thin on manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Yeah, we checked and a. Hey, I know, complete shocker. No recruits available. <laughs> Although we're, by the way, recruiting. Meanwhile, with uh, four people here. Yay. Good, more power in the Avenger, that is helpful because we don't need to build anything. And we have plenty of supplies finally. For Indonesia. Thanks to our relentless mission gathering. Good. Attacks here. Finally, Ataxia finally, finally, finally got the Commander, we currently have no training here. In. We'll need to seek out new means Still can't out get the upgrade here. Ataxia could be trained further, which I think is not a bad idea. Good. I like get some because crit chance is helpful to get a lot of damage. Commander, many of our soldiers can improve the strength of their bonds if we give them a place to train. Okay, so workshop almost done. Got only one engineer, but we're going to get the second one soon. And we're on our way with Sector at Autopsy, so that's fine. Our next Found another mission. Right in the middle of chosen territory, Commander. There's a good chance they'll show up to interfere, so we should plan accordingly. The Hunter. Setting course for Sector 5, India. All right, that will be the first time that we're meeting the Chosen. Let me fix that real quick. Okay, so we got the the second part of the Grey uh, Knights here. Occupy Jarang's uh, Mike the Public Bravo. And we're getting it down to 92%, which is two steps down. So the baseline of 10 goes up to 13 to 15. It's unfortunate, but... 
I think we can handle 15 with that squad. Whether we handle 15 in the Chosen, different story. Okay, that will... They're now called the Imperial Fists? No, no, no. Uh, anyways, whatever. Blood Angels, Imperial Fists, uh, Grey Knights, and... What else? Sabotage Transmitter? Oh yeah, we're letting that pass. Shall we, hmm, shall we purchase another engineer? That might course. speed up our economy. Market is open. I can sell that. Yeah, I think we're 140. Hmm. Hmm. That would get us to three engineers. And then we do have the workshop, which will upgrade it further. Mm, I tell you what, no, 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 no. We're keeping the money. Setting course for sector 16, Indonesia. Uh, um, 23 hours, baseline 7 to 9, well that's not going to beat baseline 7 to 9, this, that would be great, protect the data tab, let me just check something, no, that will not yield corpses either. Found it too late. Let's just double check here. Intel 6. Yeah. Well, it's not bad. I mean, we get a full haven worth of uh, Intel. Intel down here. Yep. And here we got 8 on Intel. That's a good one. The side trip is nasty because uh, that means minus 20 aim and minus 2 mobility. But we could deliver. Does anyone have a good infiltration already? It sucks that we can, can't deal with the um, protection of the data assets. That'll take 18 hours and then we're fully infiltrated there. Blood Angels will take some time as well. Not even sure, do we have enough to send on this mission? Well, we do have the Space Wolves, of course. Three men, uh, three men action. Let me, let me see something. Still no recruitment. Oh, no. Sorry, but your training is over. We need a four man group. All right, let me fix this. Good, 
So, got some new weapons, some modifications, and a little bit PCSs, but we're short on PCS. But we got uh, some nice uh, mobilities from Ataxia here. And that team should actually be capable of doing the mission. Good, since we're infiltrating so much at the moment, how many soldiers do need healing? Because I'm thinking where to scan. Maybe a bit of uh, heal improvement could be helpful. Operation War Strike. Hmm. Four days is just enough to get a small team in. But that would mean we need to act now. We have no further team. Our different missions. 20% infiltrated. We'll leave that. Uh, we, we want to do that one. 90% infiltrated. What's the squad here? Oh, easy. Uh, we could do that mission, get the intel package, and then redeploy them. Might as well do that. Let's go. Good. Grey Knights back in action yet again. Twelve enemies. Always assume the maximum. Johnny Five begins to scout out. Very aggressively pushes forward. Unfortunate for us this time they weren't just standing on top of a gas station. Let's do this. Good to go. Stepping off. Go, go, go. Okay. We got high ground. But we also got low ground, so things are not bad for us. Position confirmed. Commander, we should assume whatever Advent is using for fuel is extremely volatile. Avoid giving them any opportunity to detonate those tanks. Go, go, go. I'm somehow hearing mechs, and I really don't like that sound. I need to ask twice. Uncle Nuber moves over. 8-5. Go, go, go. Moves over. Enemy squad located. Okay, well. That's affirmative. It's not going to get any better. I want to be spotted out here. Heading out. So Johnny just takes a bit of a step back. This would be an instant kill over there. Might as well be a good start for this mission. Destroyed loot, which is never great, but it was not bad either.
were should have first team worked over that would have given me an extra shot never mind now Before I'm wildly charging in, let's see if this is clear. It is. Going in for the kill. Good to go. And whilst it is tempting to just do that, I think what we're instead going to do is stun. We'll deal with you next turn. Thank you. Enemies are coming in, okay. This will trigger the drone and we can see another pack back here. Couple of 80% uh, misses, that is what XCOM is about. Dealing with those situations. Good, highly volatile not happening. Close the door. We know there is another pack here. On my way. We have killed one, three, five, six, seven. That means there is only the possibility of one more small pack. You want some more? It's over here. Reinforcements are soon going to come. We're moving up towards that last pack. On it. Already there. Will do. This here gives us a nice little angle to charge in. They might be coming through that door. Tired of waiting around. Pretty sure this is going to tra uh, trigger. VIP in tow here. Uh, yeah, but I wasn't sure just how much it triggers. Double sectored on the rooftop.
Okay, that was the only living being that ever managed to jump through one of those fences and survived. Oh, we haven't triggered the other pack. Very good. So these crates de facto blocked line of sight. Sure. I am with you. All right, I'll go. Free move. Another free move, uh, another move. Very nice hit. Absolutely. And let's try to stun him. Good. Well, at least we know that any other shot would have missed as well. Yeah, you missed. I know, shocker. Suppressor. Not good. And of go. course, we're missing. Did we get at least a reward? No, of course. Could have just exploded it. Good, Johnny is a bit better, but overall fine. This might trigger again. Triple sector. Nice hit. Nice hit. All right, two sectors down. Offering other flankable targets so that it's not just Johnny. Fire in the hole. It is 
is clear. Seventeen points of damage. Oh, yeah. Pick that up. VIP in tow here. Location confirmed. Let's move already. On the move. On the move. It was not a flawless mission, but it was okay. We unfortunately got an injury. I'm gone. So it's not the full Let team that can go on to the next mission. A5 is ready. Close and personal. Nine days, not too bad. So, with his grenades, formidable would be good. Your flashbang grenades now distort units and reduce hacking. Hmm. Your grenades have extra explosives and do one additional damage and require special training to handle. That's a little bit extra damage. <clears throat> that could be interesting to uh, to get uh, to get uh, sector ports down to hackable level. But for now, we're going with formidable. We're getting thin on manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Yeah, he said that about 500 times by now. That is our additional manpower. And that's what we are going to try to do next. Let me see if I can figure out a way to get this mission infiltrated. All right, send them on to the mission. Which means we only need to finish uh, the scanning now. Hmm. Do we want to heal? Commander, uh, we have a mission available that's reliant on time-sensitive information. We can always finish our scans later, but failing to take on this mission could have serious repercussions for the resistance movement. Our action together is complete, Commander. What a good time for anyone to to actually finish a mission. Recruit Rebels is great, but superior PCS, mm, that is good. Okay, before we're doing any covert missions, Send our tired soldiers back into combat, but if we do, they'll be more susceptible to mental breakdowns. Yeah, so first of all, the new team here needs a proper needs a proper sign, and these uh, this uh, squad will be um, the Ultramarines. All caps. The only ones uh, that will get all caps. So squad select. Um, yep. 
Yes, yes, and that's as much of the SWAT as uh, we currently have. Now. Brian here could be with you for a moment. And we'll definitely leave the rookies out. Good, let me let me get proper weapons. Uh, we might need to sell uh, I might need to buy a Larium. Okay, let me fix that. Okay, not sure if that will be enough to actually get these out, but I think we do have uh, people on the ground as well, and we have a lot of explosives, so the three of you might need to do it, and we might start next uh, episode with going on right into the fray. Sky Ranger deployed. In position to drop. Good. This is where we are. Uh, where we are stopping today's episode and where we're going to recover uh, return with the next episode thanks for watching guys have a good one and take care bye bye